Have you been able to spot Nafilar? Not since he flew by. To be honest, things weren't looking good for our scaly friend. An entire rage of dragons chased after him. Zachi doesn't think Latvulan is interested in a fair fight. Yeah, which way do they go? Zachi lost sight of them. They're fast and loud. And this one can't help but wins every time they shout. Is that really just him? Hmm. Wait, looks like they're coming back around. What? Oh. Looks like they're headed straight to Doomstone Keep. Huh. What could they want with that old ruin? Look, above the ruin. Doomstone Keep. Nephilar has fallen. We need to get into that keep. There. Let's see if the mask responds to that brazier. Oh. That must be the Black Beast facing off against the Dragon Guard. It looks like a Khajiiti warrior is leading them. Perhaps hmm. she was a member of the Pride of Alkosh. Maybe that's Jadari. Jizar By Leki's blade, I understand now. Hmm. The Black Beast is Lutvalon. The Dragon Guard sealed him away, though it cost Jadari her life. And Nathalar is nowhere to be seen. We learned about Jadari. She fought Latuvan alongside you in the Dragon Guard. Yes, I gave her my horn, but it was not enough. And so she asked me to empower the Mask of Alkash so that we could slay Latvulan and end his terror. Ah, I refused. Hmm. Latvulan was sealed away, but not before Jadari fell in battle. Hmm. Jadari asked you to empower the mask? What yeah, what does that even mean? It takes two wills to awaken the mask. One is a champion of the pride of Alkosh, a warrior who has proven themselves worthy of the mask's power. The other must be one of my kind. A dragon. I will join with you and empower the mask. Yay. You are a worthy <laughs> ally and a champion of my father's will. Only together can we hope to defeat Lot Vulan. Raise the mask before me. It is time. Zordrun Kalos, myth made manifest. A trick of the mask and nothing more. Come, let us see what lies beyond the dunes. Wow. So, is that Alkosh in the back sleeping or something? Or. Jodori, I. Apologies never did suit you, Nafala. You are here now. That is all that matters. A new champion walks in Jadari's stead. We can still make things right. Poor Rakajin. It was his destiny to walk these sands, you know? To join with the pride of Alkosh. But greed drenched his heart like a freezing rain, sapping all its warmth. And so... It fell on your shoulders to walk this path instead. Yeah, Rakushin served the dragons. Dragons, yes. And something far worse as well. Latvulan, the demon from the east. It was not enough to seal it away. You must succeed where Jadari failed. You must banish the demon unto eternity, as Alkash wills. Hmm. Why is Latvulan so dangerous? Isn't he just another dragon? Latvulan is the torment of chaos. A shadow wearing a scaly hide. It seeks to drench this world in anguish, as is its very nature. It will pave the way for another. A new moon filled with darkness. 
Then the tapestry of time shall unravel. Hmm. I want to defeat Lachivan. Will you tell me how? Alkash watches we mortals with a weary eye. He will lend his power to one worthy, yes. But only if we are granted the aid of his blood. Only a dragon's power can awaken the mask. You seem willing. Can you say the same of Nafala? Uh, yes, um, but I'd like to ask some questions, so before we do that... Of course, Mask Bearer. Jadari is sure you have many questions. Just don't expect too many answers yet. Okay. What is this place? It is not a place, but a story that has been and will be told time and time again. We are within the tapestry and without it. Wrapped up tightly in its threads, even as we desperately try to untangle them. Okay. <laughs> uh, is this the realm of Elkosh? Elkosh is he who weaves the tapestry. And also he who is the threads. They unspool from the tip of his tail. When the thread ends, there will be nothing. We are all woven hmm. into his tapestry, Walker. We are always within the realm of time. That is so interesting. <laughs> Seriously, that is an interesting paragraph she just, or thing she just said. Uh, it doesn't seem like you're going to give me a straight answer here. Perhaps that is why Alkosh entrusted the Khajiit with his secrets, no? <laughs> uh, all right then, can you at least tell me about yourself? Jadari was born under eclipsed moons, yet was destined to never become main. Hmm. And as she listened to the moons, they sang to her a song as sweet as candied moon sugar. Until the day their song became the steady beat of drums. Hmm. The steady beat of drums? The darkness of Lorcaj had stained her soul, the bruising purple of spilled wine. Soon, all she could hear was beautiful, terrible whispers. Hmm. And so this one decided to make her way to the sands behind the stars before she was forever lost. I see. So she joined the Pride Home uh, temple. But Kinarthi carried Jadari not above to the stars but into the darkness that had settled in this one's heart. Jadari was given two gifts, a lantern to guide and a sword to protect, and both shined with Alkosh's divine light. Hmm, what happened next? You walked the halls of the High Maid, have you not? You proved yourself worthy and were gifted the mask of Alkosh. Those trials, those halls, they reflect Jadari's battle, deep in her heart. Hmm. The battle that she won. What did you do after you won that battle in your heart? Jadari was gifted the mask of Alkosh, and told to protect his most sacred tapestry. To slay a demon who would undo all of time. But now that duty lies upon your shoulders. Bear it wisely. Okay, I see. Uh, she already answered that, so I guess I'll um, talk to you again. <laughs> you must raise the mask of Alkosh before him. Do oh. not think, feel, cast doubt from your heart, and ready yourself to accept Alkosh's divine will. You must succeed where Jadari failed, mask bearer. You must slay Latvulan. Okay. Awaken the Mask of Alkosh. Okay. Go before him, Dragon Guard. It should only take a few words. Do you remember Nafalar? Words to mend the tapestry? Dragon King above. Bormahu Hanzu. This
this mortal is worthy. Wa Vokri Krenteed. They shall mend your threads. The mass awakens. Go now. Harness the might of Alkosh to overcome the demon from the east. As it was always meant to be. Hmm. I just cannot get a good picture of that mask. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to put it Our on. Our strength <laughs> is now one, Akatus. Let us finish this. We can reach the surface this way. Let's move out. Oh. What? Where did he go? I mean, there's a exit for dragons right up there, or not? Back over wherever you just went. <laughs> hmm. Is there anything interesting in this area? So this was his tomb. Um. Hmm. Along with the other dragons? Hmm. I guess I'm I'm slightly confused because in the prologue where we accidentally well we don't the uh, the dragons are released let's just say so I don't spoil too much um, I'm pretty sure he flies out then and there was a giant door that they came out of I mean this had a hole in the ceiling maybe that's part of the main quest of the area of elsewhere and I just I'm missing some information I don't know uh okay I see a dragon over there find Nephilar I'm just, I'm trying to put some sense into the uh, whole prologue quest where the dragons are first released upon the world. <laughs> Maybe Lotjivan was let out later. The cultist used the Aeon Stone to empower Lotpilar. We must no! hurry. Here you are. The time has come, Akatus. Cleave through your enemies with the might of Alkosh. Lord Bulan, your death approaches. Oh. Uh, can we just uh, look at that for a second? Whoa. Nice. Uh, can I get a picture of myself with that? <laughs> Wow, it's all spiky and awesome looking. Ugh, Sai, stop following me. How do I get down there? Just jump down, I suppose. Good job, Sai. Oh, I thought there were going to be more of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, I need to go this, this, this way, this way, through the door. <laughs> You know, it's probably the mask that is giving me all this extra power. It's like people are catching on fire here. Come, 
my brothers and sisters. Lend me your aid. Why can I not attack her? I mean, come on. Say the word, and I shall smite them all. Oh, I didn't really need your help, I guess. <laughs> Move now. Well, I mean, this helps, I suppose. <laughs> Smite the one in the middle. I, I don't know why I can't attack her. <laughs> you would think that would be the first person you'd be attacking here. <laughs> Mask bell. Call upon my might. Great job, Sai. Thanks, Nephilar. Fine! I will destroy you myself! She was not that hard either. All right. Great job. I want to be like, great job, everybody. But it's just like Sai running down here with me. And Nephilar, I'm not sure where he is. He's up in the sky somewhere. <laughs> what you got, buddy? The time has come, Lord Mulan. Our battle shall end here. You must aid Nephilar. Dragon Guard to me. It is time, Nephilar. It is time. I know not how these mortals revived you, but they shall not do so again. I am your foe. You shall face me. I can't attack him yet. Oh, here we go. I'm ground support, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Whenever he like unloads uh, his breath or whatever, it like animates frozen corpses or whatever these are. <laughs> Wow, I am like not yet hardly hitting him. <laughs> I need more help, more uh, my people. Power strengthens me. I will not be so easily defeated. Nafala, you're okay. We shall see about that. No fear. Saji has arrived. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs>
Wait, how do I protect an FOR? <laughs> I don't think I can even attack him right now. <laughs> yeah, I can't attack him. You cannot hold. Kill a Lachivan. Can I can I attack him? I don't think so. Lachavon fights down here. Bring off of this. I ah. should have killed you long ago, mask bearer. I've just been waiting for you down here. About time. <laughs> oh, bad dragon breath. I guess I just need to fight these guys until he decides, oh, I'm just going to come down here and, and face you myself. a ton of points for the fighter skill. <laughs> you think you can win? I am on slot. You cannot end me. I like, I'm throwing all of my uh, delayed attacks at him, like, that are gonna affect him for the next few seconds. <laughs> like, you're gonna, I'm gonna use up all my magic, and he's gonna hit me. And I'm probably gonna have to back off of it. <laughs> Slain. 
Now I shall ensure that nothing remains. We fought hard for this victory, Dragon Guard. To save the people of elsewhere, of all Tamriel, from Lotvalon's tyranny. But our battle does not end here. Like those who came before, we'll fight the dragons that plagued this land until the day that plague ends. And for all those who lost their lives today, I say this prayer. May your flames burn eternal. Okay. Ah. Oh. You know, where are our Dragon Guard soldiers? <laughs> uh... Now that, like, we're done with this battle, it's like, hmm, where are our soldiers? <laughs> I just met them. <laughs> Navalar, how are you feeling? Okay. All right. Let us uh, get back over to the Dragon Guard Sanctum. Wow. I cannot believe we just uh, beat Lativan. I knew it was coming. I just I didn't realize that that was uh, gonna happen in this gameplay. I, I kind of thought it was part of the main zone quest, but that must be something totally different. So I really need to play through that. <laughs> as soon as I do, I will uh, like attach it to the uh, before this playlist. <laughs> You should have seen the battle, mother. Flames and ice, swords and arrows. It was spectacular. Mother, oh. I must say, slaying dragons is certainly a step up from stealing temple heirlooms. Uh, you'll never let that one go, will you? <laughs> uh, mother Tadali, I've never seen you here before. You have done well, Mask Bearer. Not only did you defeat the demon from the east, you also turned Tadali's son into a respectable Khajiit. Hmm. She is not sure which feat is more impressive. Oh, Mother Shadali. <laughs> Zaji knew we could do it. There was never a doubt in his mind. After all, we are the Dragon Guard, right? The scourge of dragons far and wide. So you were always confident that we would win? Uh, well, <laughs> Zaji will admit there was one or two moments of doubt, but they passed by very quickly. He <laughs> hardly noticed them at all. You know, Walker, uh, forget it. <laughs> Did you have something you wanted to say? At the danger of sounding boorish, Zaji just wanted to thank you oh. for all that you've done. When this one left Black Heights, it was to seek adventure and glory. And so he bought a fine vessel and assembled a gallant crew. However. However. However, adventure and glory is a bit hard to seek out. It's not often you come upon signposts asking for mighty heroes to save the kingdom. Hmm. Well, maybe you do. It seems like you have that sort of luck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, get to the point, Zaji. <laughs> the point is that Sai Sahan was right to doubt Zaji and his crew. We were smugglers, not heroes. Ruffians trying to make enough gold to get by. And then you came along and asked us to take you here, to this island. And because of that request, you had the chance to join the Dragon Guard. And now the Moonsingers will tell stories of us for generations to come. So, thanks for giving Zaji a chance to become the hero he always knew he could be. And for letting us come along with you on this unbelievable adventure. Sir, sure, Zaji, anytime. Sorry, I was slightly distracted because I noticed a little kitty cat in the background on the left. The floating book, I think. Ah. Hello. Chili. Uh, welcome to the sanctum. Glad to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent fighting out there, Dragon God. Of course, your work isn't done. There remain plenty of dragons for your order to slay. Oh, yes. But I swear to you, from here on, 
that the shields of Senshal will aid you however we can. Oh, that is great. Thank you. Uh, what's next for the shields of Senshal? We'll continue to protect Senshal and its citizens, of course. Try our best to keep order. But I do have plans beyond that. One day, the shields of Senshal will protect all of Pelotine. No more hiding behind city walls. And what about El Alea? Will you ask her to join you? As much as I would like to keep my daughter by my side, I don't think that would be wise. She's grown so much during her time with the Dragon Guard. Her place is here. I couldn't be prouder of the woman she has become. Yeah, she has been a great asset to us. Um... Anybody else down here? Oh yeah, they're all over the place. Uh, let's get who I'm guessing is Casca, but maybe that's uh, Alea. Yeah. Hey, Alea. Thanks for all the Hello help. Hello there, hero. Have time for a chat? We did it. Senshal is finally safe from Lapulon and the Order of the New Moon. There are other dragons to contend with, of course, but we'll defeat those too, won't we? Just like the Dragon Guard of Legend. That is what our order what our order was formed to do. I've actually been thinking a lot about that. Our order. I honestly wonder if it will last. Hmm. Maybe Zaji and Casca will get bored and seek out another adventure. Maybe another threat will call Saisahan away. You sound nervous about that. A little. But mostly the thought makes me sad. I've come to think of the Dragon Guard as a family of sorts. And I fear that if the Order disbanded, if there was no longer a reason to fight, I would lose that. Wow, do you have abandonment issues? Because if that were to happen, that's a long ways away. You don't need to be thinking about that. There's still plenty of reasons to fight. Dragons still plague elsewhere. I know, I know. There's no shortage of work. I'm just being silly as all. But then there's also this feeling that our battle isn't truly over. Which is an even scarier thought, isn't it? Hmm. What do you mean? What is the new moon that the cult worshipped? How did Lapulon plan to rule over Tamriel? They're just questions that keep bouncing around in my head. It might be nothing. But I'm just not sure this is over yet. Hmm. Perhaps not. Uh, thanks for your insight on that, though. Yes, I do wonder um, how uh, how what she was just saying, how they're going to uh, incorporate that into future content for ESO. I still cannot get through this door. <sighs> maybe, <laughs> maybe when I actually talk to Saison. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> Uh, let's, I guess, talk to, uh, the woman over here. Mother distraction. Oh no, Casca. Hey, Casca. Congratulations on the win, mask bearer. Just do not brag about it, yes? I get enough of that from Zaji. Hmm. How are you, Casca? Not dead, which is better than I expected. It all worked out, though, didn't it? Aelia protected Senchal, Zaji became a hero, Saisahan ended a grave threat to Tamriel, and you got to be the mighty hero at the center of it all. Mm, what about you, Casca? I'm a simple Senshrat walker. There was an enemy, and I killed it. What greater satisfaction is there? Mm. My only regret was not killing Lotvulan sooner. Yeah. Many of my people died because of him and his cult. Yeah. The Order of the New, New Moon did kill many. And all for their own protection. They were too afraid to fight the dragons that terrorized their land, and so they joined with forces that they did not understand. And many suffered because of that. I won't forget that. We defeated Lachivan and his cult. They won't kill any longer. But there's still dragons in elsewhere. Cruel, terrible dragons who want nothing more than to kill and destroy and conquer. And I won't let them. As the moons are my witness, I will hunt them all down. Every last one. 
Whoa, Gatska. <laughs> it's a little scary. It's like, ah, I'm gonna kill them all. <laughs> uh, all right. I think we just need to talk to Sai now. I need to, um, get more involved with the, uh, dailies they have over here. I think I'm missing a lot of great loot by, uh, doing, not doing those. Wait, what? Who? What? Talk to Sice Hunt. Yeah, is he on the boat? Where is he? Oh, hey, Sice. Just Sai. the warrior I wanted to speak to. At long last, we defeated the Black Beast. Today, we finished a battle the Dragon Guard began centuries ago. A fitting start to our own order, I must say. Yeah. Uh, where is Nephilar? Brooding as usual. Nephilar may have pulled through as our ally, but he's still not one for socializing with mere mortals. He did say he wished to speak to you when you returned. Okay, then I'll go speak with him. If the subject comes up, let Nephilar know that he's welcome to recover in our sanctum. He's our ally, and the Dragon Guard takes care of its own. How are you feeling after our victory? Far more confident of our Dragon Guard, I must admit. When we first formed our order, all I saw was a ragtag band of smugglers, ill-experienced and naive in the ways of battle. And one general's daughter. Ah, yes, young Alia. How could I forget? But now I look around me and I see soldiers, tried and true. Warriors who are willing to lay down their lives to protect elsewhere. And if that's not in the spirit of the Dragon Guard, I don't know what is. And what about you, Captain Sai Sahan? Captain? Yes, I suppose I am, aren't I? Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since I last held that rank. I failed to uphold my duty then. I allowed my Emperor to die, and watched as our Empire fell into the clutches of Daedra. And now? And now I have another chance to make things right. Not in the Empire, perhaps, but here in a land that has a great need for a Dragon Guard to watch over it. And I expect your help as well, my friend, as always. Sai, it has been great uh, adventuring with you and saving the world with you. I hope we get to uh, have more adventures <laughs> together. Uh, let's go talk to Nephilar. And now he's out there. An excellent battle, Akatus. Your might helped seal Lot Vulan's fate. He shall never challenge me again. It was a long road to defeat Lachivan. Indeed, and our foes seem to thwart us at every turn. Lot Vulan killed Yagrandu before he could join our alliance, and his corpse was turned against us. The cult destroyed Pride Home in their efforts to acquire the Mask of Alkash. But we were able to stop Rakajin before he obtained the Mask. Though it was no easy task to do so, the Halls of the High Main presents challenges that few dare to face. Yet you conquered them all and proved worthy of al Kosh's divine power. A feat few mortals can claim. Well, what can I say? <laughs> I am the hero of Tamriel. <laughs> and I was then able to use the mask to defeat Latuvan as well. You have certainly proved yourself worthy of the Mask of Alkash. Just do not expect it to ensure all your victories. Its power was only awakened through our connection. With my departure, it shall be but a mask. Hmm. Your departure? Are you leaving? Not yet. We defeated Lot Vulan. But 
I sense another power lurking in elsewhere. Something dark that threatens to disrupt my father's order. When the time comes for you to face it, I shall aid you. I give you my word. And keep the mask. <laughs> it suits you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nathalar. Well, I guess it'll be a while since I till I see you again. Um so I'm getting a Talon of Nephilar and Behold Kanzari's Kun Ambition. Uh, that's what he called me, right? Your order may not have the power or skill of the Woo! Dragon God of old, but our alliance has proven far more useful. <sighs> nice. Latvulan is destroyed. He shall never rise to face me again. Momindok Fez. An unexpected outcome. Hmm. Um. You said you sensed another power and elsewhere. Can you tell me more? <sighs> I feel it out there. A malevolence that stretches across this land like a thick fog. A power that dwarfs even Latvulans. I believe it to be one of my kind. A dragon of great strength and greater hunger. Hmm. A great hunger. What do you mean? All dove seek dominance. For some, that desire is too great to control. An all-consuming hunger to rule over all. Uh, I sense this now. A dragon who will not rest until he gains absolute power. What? Okay, um, you've called me something several times now. Akka... What? What does it mean? It is an honor that few mortals have received from my kind. Dovazin, a dragon name. Once I called you Hunter, now you are Akatuz. Akatuz, I like it, thank you. What's the difference between Hunter and Akatuz? everything you are hunter still yes but now you are proud unbroken bound to my power by the dragon king of time hmm. defender of my father's will and so i honor you with a dragon's name well thank you um can you tell me anything more about Tadari that i do not know yet uh that i am not don't already know she was a warrior without equal. When Latvulan first came to these lands, many tried to defeat him, but only Jadari was wise enough to seek my aid, brave enough to face my might, worthy enough to be gifted my horn. Hmm. What was she like? She was kind, immeasurably so. I suspect she had overcome a great sorrow, for she had a way of finding the light in the darkest of times, the good in the cruelest of souls. And she was strong in body and heart, strong enough to brave anything. Hmm. It sounds like you respect her greatly. She was my father's chosen, was she not? To earn Alkash's favor is no small task. And so it is only fitting that I show her a similar respect. But enough of Jadari. Let us discuss another topic. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks, Nephilar. I wonder if I come back here again if you'll be gone. Because this, uh... I'm done with the quest. <laughs> uh, let's see. What did I get? I got the mask. Yay! You may not be a dragon, but this mask uh, reverberates with the fierceness and majesty of the king of these mighty creatures, earned from completing the return of the Dragon Guard achievement. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, that, that's the mask. <laughs> I guess I'll keep it on for the moment. <laughs> I was like whining about it the whole time. <laughs> And then, uh, furniture, um, 
place on the altar of ambition in the hall of the lunar champion to unlock a portal to Kun Kunazari's childhood home. Place on the altar of ambition in the hall of the lunar champion. What does that mean? Hmm. Okay. I'll have to look into that. And then I got, first off, I never tried out that, uh, is it this one, the charged Akavari staff? Um, well, it does more shock, it deals shock damage, um, more damage. Resist is down though. Part of the Dragon Guard Elite set. See, the only thing is a lot of the set equipment I've been getting is like stuff my character wouldn't wear, like heavy armor and two-handed weapons and stuff. So I'm not sure if I want to equip that. Mm, let's see, the other one was that two-handed. The Talon of Nephalar. Part of the Marauder's Haste set. It's one-handed. Magic recovery. I might try to give that to my other character. I'm not sure. I gave her a couple of my other items. I'm not sure if it was this set or this uh, Dragon Guard Elite set. I think it was the Dragon Guard Elite set. Which, and she doesn't wield the staff. Hey guys, so I just wanted to go over um, how you get into the Dragon Guard uh, armory because it's actually easier than I thought it was. Um, apparently, you just have to do the dailies. <laughs> so you go to your achievements and scroll down to Southern Elsewhere's Dragon Guard DLC. So you scroll down to the Dragon Hold achievement. So you get down to quests and you come to reforging the dragon guard. This first one, um, you get a chef added and extra non-functional NPCs, which that's <laughs> why some NPCs were showing up. And I was like, where are they coming from? It's because of this achievement. The second one is where you get the door unlocked for the armory, the ancient dragon guard set that's craftable. Uh, and then we'll check it out in a second. 20 is an achievement furniture is unlocked. So I'm working on that right now. Um, and the good bits quest becomes available. So I will need to round back to that. And then at 30, you get a daily Dragon Guard supply chest. Uh, that's in front of Dirge's counter near the Way Shrine. Okay, so if you go back to the Dragon Guard armory, here are some guys practicing their bow and arrows. They'll have like this little conversations. Forever. Mostly complaining. <laughs> and then you come back to the armory, which is where you, you know, craft your dragon guard set. So that has uh, additional max health, weapon damage, spell damage, weapon critical, spell critical, and at five items it adds weapon and spell damage while your health is above 50%, adds physical and spell resist while your health is 50% or less. So that is pretty awesome. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that on any of my characters or not. Well, this was a lot of fun. I'm glad that I did it. And I don't think it ruined the main quest line of the uh, Elsewhere chapter because that's what I was a little bit afraid of. But they said that it was like it was, wasn't was supposed to have any spoilers, really. So um, if you hadn't done it yet, and I don't think it really did. Uh, although I'm slightly confused now about what <laughs> what is in the main quest. Um, thanks guys for joining me and I'll be back soon with more recordings. Um, thanks for watching.